Here we have the Nissan Qashqai 1.2 Tecna on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through a few controls on the inside. But from the outside you'll see it's five doors with alloy wheels and tinted windows around the rear. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car you'll see we've got reversing sensors. This car's also got a 360 parking camera which I'll show you when we're inside the car. Masses of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car now and then I'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get full black leather seats. The driver's seat is electronically adjustable. There's plenty to run through inside this car, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car are only 1,668, so very, very low mileage. Uh, there's various different bits of information you can have displayed directly above that, and for that, you can just use the controls on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Uh, directly above that, you'll see these three symbols here. They're all safety related features on this car. Uh, from the left to the right, we've got blind spot monitoring system. Uh, we then have kind of active cruise control so the car can maintain a safe distance between you and the car in front. And then lane departure warning system on the right hand side. There's videos uh, highlighting and demonstrating all three of those features on our Facebook page. Uh, if we back out to the steering wheel, You'll see we've got controls on the left-hand side for the stereo, and on the right-hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter, as well as the ability to answer and end phone calls. That is, of course, once you've paired up your phone, which is done on the screen over in the center, just here, uh, amongst other things. Uh, so radio, first of all, we've got FM radio, as you can see, DAB digital radio, and FM. So AM, FM, and DAB available. And beyond that, there's a number of other ways to listen to music in this car. So CD player, which is just there. This car also has a USB and auxiliary inputs, and you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth. So once you pair up your phone, not only can you make and receive phone calls, but as I say, you can listen to your music wirelessly as well. Uh, this car also has satellite navigation, which can be accessed just up here, and a 360 parking camera, which I mentioned when we were around the back of the car. So if I pop the car into reverse, You'll see on the right hand side we have a reversing camera with guidelines showing you where the car is headed in relation to that image. And then we have a 360 bird's eye view of the car parked in the space that it's currently in. Uh, makes it very, very easy to park, but it goes one step beyond that. If you press the camera button, you then have a front facing camera and the bird's eye view. Press it again, you have a front facing camera and the front passenger side wheel. So a uh, really good all round visibility on this car. You then have dual zone climate control directly beneath that. So you can adjust the temperature independently on either side of the car. Fan speed is adjustable in the middle, then simply hit air conditioning and away you go. Or hit auto and the car will maintain those temperatures for you by adjusting the fan speed itself. You can then just override that simply by pushing the fan speed button. This car also has a proper full heated front screen as well as the heated rear screen. So under here you have a 12 volt charging socket, so you can charge your phone for example, the electronic handbrake, a 6 speed manual gearbox, and then all the way back in the central armrest, a second 12 volt charging socket, the USB and auxiliary inputs that I mentioned a moment ago. And lastly I just wanted to talk about the panoramic roof on this car, so there's a button up there that will open up the sunblind all the way back to the rear of the car, and as you can see it lets in a huge amount of light. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.